Hey yo, what is up guys, it is your boy Twe here and this will be a video of some tips and tricks of the Kung Fu Master uh, what I came to know and I'd just like to share it with you guys so let's start off with the first thing <gasps> that's eating alright so let's get it popping so here we got ourselves Searing Palm now this I'll actually grant you the most damage a Kung Fu Master can actually get you get yourself four types of stacks which grant you up more damage each stack that you go up like let's not get into like the statistics but every stack gives you 10 seconds of time that you can actually pop the second stack so in theory you have yourself 40 seconds that you can stack up and one minute cooldown so if you do this properly you can output a lot of damage over like a lot of time as well and the thing on itself is doing a lot of damage too. Now there are two ways to pop it, two basic skill builds that you'll be using. But first off, what skills do actually pop it? So footwork is one of them. So if you iframe something, it will pop. Leading palm, if you hit something, it will pop. Flurry will also make it pop if you get yourself an iframe and you will get yourself a hellfire kick. So basic way to do it is you start off with E, get yourself one pop of searing palm, then use the leading palm, pop one, and then hellfire kick, pop three. And you can use flurry or E uh, to get the last stack in. So let me just show you. It is fairly, fairly easy. Let's hope I don't die against these spiders because there's still a bunch of asses. So here we go. Get the first one in and I can just wait. I can just wait this out. It doesn't really matter. I can block. I got myself six seconds left to do this. So once again, searing palm, get the third second and here's another nine seconds so i actually gotta watch it because i don't have myself the uh, other thing oh yeah and uh the kick will actually uh grant yourself that last one as well so now it just e at this point oh i probably won't even be able to proc it uh, apparently not oh i got myself an x button because that thing just happens and now you have perma crit basically that is the way to pop it so one of the great things about leading palm is it is seven second cooldown and if you just play it all along like that you can get it high as well now the funny thing is if you get the leading palm high up in the stacks you can grant yourself like a 10k fucking damage buff so i just want to show it to you guys let's see if i can make it happen so let's just look at the damage for now i'm gonna just cheese it out so oh, there we go and get the shin kick one shin kick two and i'm not going to use the leading palm so there we go shin kick three shin kick four and here's the damage mm, almost 10k there we go but it's permanent damage it is just oh <laughs> it's so good like i use this basically on summoners because the damage is unavoidable it is just there and people will die now, the other way to do it is with Hellfire Kick in combination with Leading Palm. Uh, this is mainly used for PvE purposes as well. Uh, I like it this way. Um, I could get the Cyclone Kick another way around, but either way, this should prove my point. Alright, so we got another spider to try out. There we go. Mash this little thing. Don't block it. Alright, so if I hit my two, I can hit my four, get this stack in. I can Q. I eat for no apparent reason. And then I can just try and mash these little things. Now my hellfire is already up again. So here we go once again. Pull the strings on this thing. I still got a Q left, so. I'm good right here so get the fourth one in hellfire kick into the massive damage and there we go like this is another way to do it and you can easily rotate with this build especially once you're up against like uh, a lot of monsters uh, you can use stuns in between as well uh, because you have that 10 second timer and just make sure you really check out your hellfire kick as well because it as you can see it can be really useful
All right, guys, on the next skill, I'll be talking about the footwork, a.k.a. shadow dance, a.k.a. foot loose, happy feet. I don't know what you want to call it. Either way, um, the great thing about this skill is not just that it gives you the evasion rate, but especially for PvE, uh, grinding up more monsters, this is the way that you can use it. So here goes. So awaken for six seconds on three agility stacks. Now this is one of the biggest things that I use it for. It grants you 100% evasion. It gives you movement speed. It basically gives you everything that you need. So the big thing uh, with this is you just get those six stacks Get yourself the evasion and you will be able to blast your comma strikes straight up every single time. There is nothing that holds you back on this one. So let me just show you. Alright, we are at the monkeys and these monkeys need an ass whooping. So make sure to get your E and Q's up. Buff lasts about 6 seconds. Make sure to just count. Look at the buff timer and whenever it wears out, press your E or Q if you don't want to die. So here we go. And the funny thing is, if you run out of chi, I press my 4, kill everything in one go. There we go, respecting it. And there you go, kill off the last monkey. Yes. So once again in a slow-mo, I pop my Q there, get the buff up. I 4 once, press 2, press F to get that chi back. Put another 4 down. Buff almost wears off. I just tend to wait, wait for that hit because if you Q at, or like E at this point, you will get hit. Not enough to get the buff going on, so make sure to get all those hits popping off. Then you stomp them in the nuts. That's basically done. So that's how you pull that off. So let's take what we have learned thus far. So putting this to the test. Gotta make sure I get my E and Q's popping off. Got myself my free skill. I hate spiders. Okay, let's go. Please hit me. There we go. Now after I got out, press my Z like a ferocious man. There we go. I'll make sure I get my E Q's up. There we go. Now I can just bang. Six seconds long. A little too early on the Q though. Here's the damage, baby. And now I need to get the fuck out. Leaving. This is why I spec the uh, the speed skill on it. Look at my speed. Okay, now I got a Q left. Now it's spamming fours all to the back. Oh boy, so close. So now I got my whole spec up again, and I'm actually good. So if you rotate this way, you can actually manage this pretty easily. So if you start off with E or Q. Uh, you can have your uh, stuns after that and after you're done with all of your stuns you can still E and Q afterward and prolong the whole thing. Like this way you can change up and if you actually need to get out double back and move the fuck away. Like like I said, pretty unbeatable. And then you think assassin is strong in PvE. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> we got KFM. Now for ways to stun the boss, which divert from left mouse button into Z or V, here is, so yeah, here it goes, it is double back, into left mouse button, into 3, that's the easiest way to knock down a boss and interrupt. Another get ready part of uh, the skill tip is uh, use for blocking and ear queuing, so uh, the left mouse button is my standard way to cancel things, so if I just straight up press my left mouse button I can go on but if you're halfway like you can halfway stop the combo if you do it with a two for instance it does not work so like it does work at some point but it needs to require the full animation instead of like doing it halfly and the same goes for EOQ so I can just hit and move away if I do it properly this time it kind of fell there we go but that's EQ. Like my left mouse button cancels everything. So this basically works within like a big combo as well. So if you 3RF, 3RF and then R into block, it will instantly pop. If you're midsection within um, like your F, like your F kick or anything else, it will not work. So once again, if we just start, 
I just got attack and then I can instantly move. That's one of the best ways to do it. And uh, as well with the 3RF combo, so 3RF and then you just put that one down. So once again, 3 So here's another application for the canceling. So I'll be knocking him down, then left mouse button into block. This will automatically block his counter. And there we go. And we got it and we can straight follow up. Which is by far one of the best things. Here's the double back into the whole thing. We knock him down and there we go. So it's quite easy and uh, pretty useful. So yeah, not many hidden techs on the KFM. This is what I could find so far. Maybe I'll find some more later on. But this was Twibby. Peace.